In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to search for and locate reliable resources as part of the research process. In part one of the search strategies tutorial, you saw how to identify key concepts that will be used as search terms, combine key concepts to search as one phrase, and refine your search with synonyms and other terms that mean the same or are similar to your original search terms. In part two of the search strategies tutorial, I will put those strategies to use by searching in the ELM databases to find reliable results for the topic question used in part one. What are the effects of steroids on high school athletes? Now I will go to the website elmforyou.org to use the databases to find articles and other resources for my topic. The topic, Steroids and High School Athletes, is one that has been in the news, and under the Topics tab is the link for News and Current Events. I will choose this link, which will take me to a list of databases most useful for finding news and current events information. I will go ahead and click on the link for Student Resources in Context, and begin my search there. In the search field, I will enter the terms Steroids and High School Athletes, using quotations around the term high school athletes to ensure that I find one term instead of three separate words. I can then review my results, see what document types and date ranges the results have, as well as subjects associated with my search results. In Student Resources in Context, results are broken out by content type. Within each section is a full display of results with the subject field. Reviewing the subjects listed, I may want to see what information is available from the subject Juvenile Drug Abuse to see if there is more information relevant to my main topic. Most ELM databases allow you to print, email, and save or download articles, create a citation, and download an audio file of the article. Now try these search strategies for yourself using the ELM databases. Thank you for watching this tutorial and check out more tutorials on elm4u.org.